put these up again. All right. So this is called a cryptorhythm. And we're going to, so who read ahead? Did anybody read ahead? No. Okay. All right. I think he did though, because he's saying the book has the question W plus O equals O F. Not yes. W. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I don't want you reading ahead. So, so we're going to do a little notice and wonder on this. So the, here are the rules. So this is what we know. These, these letters represent numbers. And one letter, so this letter O is going to be the same here as it is here. It doesn't necessarily mean it'll be the same in the next puzzle. It's just this here. If you see an O, if this is a five here, it will be a five here. So we know that this is a two digit number and these are single digit numbers. And this digit and this digit is this, has this, have the same value. But if this were a four over here, it could be 40, right? Just like if it were a one and a 10, the one, the one is here and over here it would be in the tens place. So we have to figure out what this number is, what these numbers are. And I think the best way to do this is just what do we notice first? And then let's make up based on what we notice, then we'll decide what has to be true based on what we notice. I, well, I think you already said this, but the W and the O are both single digits, so that means they will either have to be, they will be from one to nine. Okay, so we have zero to nine. Okay, I, think I already figured it out. I think I already know what they both mean. Same. Okay, well, well, okay, so before you do that, because what we want to do, what we're looking for is uh, having some, like coming up with some general guidelines of things that we, we notice about how numbers here would operate. So if we have two single digit numbers, Digit. Now, because these represent numbers, this is not going to be a zero, right? This is a, these two are going to be added together. So this yeah. is going to be a zero. So we get two single digit numbers, and then they equal, when added, equal two digits. Is there anything that you can deduce from that? Ben. Or Jacob or Aiden, any one of you. I actually didn't hear the question because- So is there anything that you, like is there anything from the fact that these are, these are single digits and this is a two digit, is there anything that you could, that would help you figure out what either of these numbers are? We know that since the O is going to be in front and they're both single digits, well, the largest number can be 9 plus 9 since they're both single digits, so that means we'll have, the 1 will have to be, I mean, the O will have to be, um, uh, they will both, it will, the number, the OF will have to be, under 20 it will be it'll have to begin with one, and therefore o is one okay so all right so now we have something that we know for sure so i'm going to move this down to i knew o is one two okay so o must be one because why because Put it in, put it in the best English you can. OF is a two digit number and we are adding two single digit numbers together to equal that. So the single digit numbers there are, are nine is nine. Okay. So therefore, 
and that would equal 18 if you add two of those together. So therefore, um, uh, the O will have to equal one. Is nine and nine plus nine equals 18. The O must be one. So if this is true, nine and nine are 18, then O must be one. It can't be two, it can't be any other number. All right, so I'm going to just now, underneath this, write W plus one equals one F. So we figured out this much so far. Aiden has said W has to be nine. W has to be nine? Yes, Aiden said that. Yeah, that's what I think. And why does the W have to, so it's, you, that's fine if it has to be nine. I just need to know why it has to be nine. I think it's 10. You just said nine. Well, it, it cannot, if, since we know O is one and we have proof O is one. No, not W. Oh. Then since it's, it's a two w. digit number, since it's a two, since it's a two digit number, um, uh, and it begins with one. Well, since O is one, one plus a, if W can only be nine because only one plus nine equals a two-digit number. It can't be eight plus one. To no, give it you a can't. Two -digit number, right? Because then you'll end up with nine. Yeah. Then yeah. Two-digit. So you think W is nine as well? Yes. Because <clears throat> he thinks the answer. So he says the answer is 10. It must be nine, because whatever you're adding to this to get a two-digit number the answer is 10. must be. Yes. All right, so I'm going to try and write what you said down here. So uh, because uh, OF I'm going to put this here. OF is a two digit number. Um, and we know that O equals one, uh, then W must be nine because anything less would, anything less when added to nine wouldn't be a two digit number. I think you should say added to one instead of added to oh, one. Oh, added to one. Thank you. Wouldn't be a two digit number. So. I agree. All right, Aiden, you agree? Jacob, you agree? I've articulated what you said to me. Yeah, so I agree. We have, so we have nine plus one equals 10. So we have our, if these things are true, then this must be true. Aiden says yes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do the okay. next. Okay. What? Frankie's here as well. Okay, so Frankie, we're doing um, we're doing these first ones, and we have uh, we had W plus O equals O F, and then we decided that the O must equal one, and we decided that because um, nine plus nine is the largest digit. Nine is the largest digit that could go there when added, when nine and nine are added together, they make 18, so it must be one. Because you can't get a two there, and you can't get a zero there, because the O actually equals a number. All right, so then we decided oh, excuse, that- Excuse me, why, why O must be the largest in number? Well, it has, because because these two, these two digits, when added together, W plus O, they equal a two-digit number. So, so what we know, so here's the rules. 
the rule is if O is here, it is the same digit here, right? If we have a digit O here, it's the same digit here. So if it's a four here, it's a four here. Um, it could be four and 40 here, but it still is, it's still a four. And so we know that if we add W, so this is a single digit number, this is a single digit number, this is a two digit number. So this, so W doesn't re represent a two digit number. So that's kind of the rules of the game. All right, okay. when these two digits are added together, okay. they make a two digit number. So the <laughs> largest digits that we have are nine. So nine and nine equals 18. So the most that this could be, this, so this number here has to be under 20, which means O must be one. So it is Jeanette's, uh, oh no, uh, Denise's uh, problem. Is this Denise's problem? No, this, camp, this is right out of camp logic. Okay, I was thinking about if this is the one that, uh, that she mentioned a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, so we decided that, and then the boys decided that because this one is one, because this is one, and we need a two-digit number, the only number this could be is nine. Because if you add eight and one together, you do not get a two-digit number. So this must be, again, the highest number. And so this must be 10. Anything less than nine would not give you a two-digit number. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Frankie, are you with us? Um, I just sent you a note. He actually just did the math for an hour, so he could not sit through. He'll be back later. He's outside. Okay. I explained to him. Okay, all right, so we have now this one. P plus P and Aiden, you have to watch the chat because Aiden's microphone doesn't work today. <clears throat> uh, ben, I think is on, on Aiden duty. I have the, I have Aiden's, I have the chat up right here. Equals G plus G. I'm all excited about this one because I'm thinking, this, this is like algebra. I, I think I might have already figured it out. Yeah, I, I think I've already figured it out. Okay. Okay, well, that's great. So you gotta tell me what we noticed. So let's do notice and wonder first. I've actually found out two possible different answers for this. Right. What do we know? But you guys have the book, so you've seen it before, right? No, they, well, they haven't. Nobody's actually done any homework. I didn't assign homework last week. They just knew we were going to be doing this. So as far as I know, nobody's actually looked at the book. I well, just, I've just, it's at the bottom of the page and it doesn't give you anything. And I just looked at it and went, oh, this is exciting. Um, yeah. Well, I've figured it out and so has Aiden. So the, that number has well, let's to go be. let's through it with Jacob first about notice. So yeah, we're not going to, so let's do well, what do we you, notice? Well, the number will have to be divisible. By okay, well, wait, wait, wait. What do we notice? Not what are the conclusions we make? <clears throat> so what are the I things we notice first? I noticed that the number, since there's three P's and two G's, that the so, number... So wait, no, wait, wait, wait. You're making conclusions yet. We're just <laughs> doing the notice part. So I notice that there are three... P's. P's and one I one I and two P's. Okay, now we can come down here and talk about perhaps some of the conclusions that we can come to. So what are the things if those things are true, what are things that you think if this is true at the top. Then what is the things, well, the, thing, the things that are true that must follow? It'll have to be a single digit number since, there is, since I is single digit. It'll um, have to be a what? Ooh. What did you think? Aiden's written this as well. And the number has to be, wait, wait, one minute. And the- Hold on, wait, so uh, I don't type that fast. Solution must be, Single digit. It'll have to be because the I is a single digit. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. What you just said. I think I know what it, I think. 
I figured out the answer too. You know, hold on. I think I know what so the so wait, let's is. come up with okay, before we come up with the number, let's do finish our notice and our 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 other thing first. So we also noticed then if that's true, then what are other things that we can boys don't tell your parents. So let's <laughs> let moms answer now. <laughs> Uh, I already know what I, I I've yeah. already figured it out, and so has Aiden. I okay. Yeah, I was, me too. Okay, what you wanted me to answer? What? So I said boys have to keep their traps shut, so moms <laughs> can answer now. So what are things that must be true about this number, given the things that we know? It has to be an even number. That's yes. Okay, I, I, I was thinking, that from Benjamin. I was thinking I is an even number as well. Okay, it must, why must it be even? Because there's two Gs, it has to be divisible. Okay, hey, I'm asking, listen, <laughs> Ben, you're trying to help your parents. Don't give them the answers. Okay, it must be even because there are two Gs. Okay, what else must be true? Well, I is the, is the multiple of six. I told you that. <laughs> Thank you. So it's a multiple. Can okay, I hold on? Why is it a multiple of six? Yeah, there are uh, three and a two. So, it so has because three. there's a three and a two, it must be divisible by six. So I would say it also is divisible by, so that it also has to have a three in it somewhere because there's three. So you can divide it into halves and you can divide it into thirds, right? Ah. Into thirds. And then because it's divisible by, it, it can be divided into halves and into thirds, it must also be divisible by six. So what must this number be that is divisible by six? Well, Aiden said, I know. I know what it you is. You mean I? What? What is I? What is I? I know. I know. I know. Because it's a single digit. Yes, it's six. It's no. To be divided by two and by three. There's none yes. other than six. It can only be six. Because we can, if we have two sixes, that's 12. So it must be six. And now we know I is six and the other ones, P is two. Yeah. <clears throat> and G is three. I knew that as soon as I thought of what numbers have, are divisible by three and two. Well, I mean like <laughs> what numbers have a third and a half. Okay, so B A equals mm -hmm. A times A times A. So just not, no conclusions. Let's just do the notice part, boys. Um, first we have to figure out what A is. No, she said, what do you notice though? That's all. What I'm do we notice? <clears throat> so notice, I notice that these are not addition. Yeah, it's, it's we're multiplying. Yes, yes. Multiplication. So you have the same numbers. You have the number. same numbers. So that this number will be a cube. Ah. Oh. So, oh. A, oh, right. so this, <laughs> so our, so hold on. A, so we notice, we notice mm -hmm. it's multiplication and. Uh, and we notice they are all A's. Down here, I'm it, going to write it, it, our it number must be A. And I'm gonna, I don't think I can put a thing, A cubed. Mm -hmm. And Aiden says the product is only two digits. Did you get that already? So okay. Oh, so the product is only two digits. 
So this is going to limit us. We have a pretty good way to, if it's only two digits and it's A cubed, can it be two? It's no. No. So no. What, what, what if when they say the product in two digits, when all the products? Aiden's saying no. <laughs> So we're saying, he's saying that A cubed must be a two-digit number, and it must end in whatever A is. Mm -hmm. so, well, I say it has to be only two digits, and it, the only two numbers that will work uh, 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 for A could possibly don't be... Don't say anything, we're still on. Because, well, hey, sl work. slow down. Wait, wait, wait. Not five times five. Notice, wonder. How is this only two digits? Hold your answer. Listen, listen. I'm a little ben, confused. I'm going to mute you. I'm a little confused. Said that the product is only two digits. Is that the condition of this problem? Or no, it's just a notice. It's what they noticed. Yeah, because if you look here, if it were going to be a three digit, there would be something like this there. That would be another one. But because. Um, oh. A single letter represents one digit. Two letters is two digits. Three letters is three digits. So, so B is not a B times A. It's okay. I see. Yes. Yeah. That is how the. Yeah. That's actually how the puzzle works. So we know it's only two digits. So there can only be. Um, so we know it's not two, and. I know what I know. There's only three digits that we haven't figured out yet. So, so there's two. So these have to be one, two of them. Aiden, Aiden wants to say. So, hold on, Aiden. Yeah, you're giving me a solution, Aiden. Not there yet. All right. So I want us to reason through. <laughs> Hold on. Well, luckily you, we're not we're not seeing his chat, so. Oh, you're not. Okay. Can you no, see it, it now? No, it must be private. I don't see his chats at all, so I don't know. Oh, why. it is. That's fine. <clears throat> we don't we don't have to see. Uh, his yes. Part. Okay. So Aiden has the answer. Yeah, I'm and so he reasoned his way through. Okay. So, um, if, if Ben, you have yours. Jacob, do you think you know what it is, or do you still are you still thinking it through? No, I have, I have no idea what it could be. Well, so how would we figure this out? So we know that it's, um, we know that it's, whatever it is, it's A cubed, right? We discussed mm -hmm. that, so we knew that. So we know it can't be two, because if you do two cubed, it's not a, it's two, four, eight. That's not a two digit number. Oh, I see. But it's also not, but we also already figured out what two is. Two is P. No, that was on a different problem. This is a completely new problem. Yeah, the, the, the letters aren't the same. They don't transfer from puzzle to puzzle. Yeah. Oh. They're stat, they're, is it not static? I can't remember how that works. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so it could be whatever, but she's saying we know, so we I know noticed, this uh, is a cubed. So I noticed the last digit of the cube is the same as the as, as that a, uh, okay notice that the last digit of the cube is the same as the number to be cubed so what she's saying this number this digit here and this digit here these are the same digit so that's going to limit what number it is that could be cubed. So we know two doesn't work. So let's try three. Let's throw three in. So we have three. Can I give them a hint. No. Uh, no. We're going to work them through. Right. So let's work through. So, right, if we know two doesn't work, that's that. What about three? Does three fit this scenario? So if three times three, three times three is nine, right? 
And then nine times three is, does that work? No, 27. Okay, so that one doesn't work because three and seven are not the same. So let's try four. It could be four. something over five. It, who said it can't be over five? No, he said it has to be over five is what he thinks. Why does it have to be over? So let's look at five. So that's an interesting thing. You think it must. So hold on. I'm going to write this down. Why must it be over five? Because I think, hmm. because anything smaller than five won't, won't be two digits. Really? Okay. So, well, that's okay. That's fine. So I'm going to put must be over five. Over. Yeah, all the uh, power of five ends with uh, five. Okay. So I think all that's. The power, all the power of 10 ends with 10. So it must be over five. With, ends with a zero. Yeah. Because otherwise it will be too small. So let's look at five and see if the answer is because five and it's going to end in five. So that's a, that's a possibility. So let's do five. So let's do five times five is? 25. Times five is? Five twenty-fives is? Uh, it's 125. So 125, is that going to work? No. Okay, so it can't be five because it's too big. <clears throat> so that's, uh-oh, undo. So that was a great hypothesis. It didn't turn out. That's all right. So we tried two, we tried three, we tried five. Wait, what do you I think? I know it, what it is. What? I think it's four. You think it's four? Okay, so let's try four. So we have four that's, times that's four is? That. She said four times four is? Yeah. Four times four is 16. Times four. So let's double 16, 16 twice. times four is 64. Okay, does that work? Yes. Okay, I think we have our answer. Ben, do you agree? Yes, my mom's telling me not to call that the end, but... Well, Aiden already has it. Yeah. Yeah, Aiden has it. And Aiden, yeah. Aiden knows. All right. All right, we're going to try another one. All right. And I want to stick with, again, we want to do, we want to make some statements, and then we want to notice what follows. What <clears throat> must reasonably follow from the things that we notice? All right. Don't give our conclusions yet. Correct. Ooh. So it's something that's three equals three digits. So a single, so we have a single digit plus, so it has to be pretty high. Well, hold on, just we're noticing. So single digit we said was plus a double, double digit equals a three digit. What else do we notice? I think I already have my answer, so I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> well, no, you do the things that you notice, because what I want you to do, so here's the deal. So Instead I of having without giving the C, C plus C A, so C has to be, you don't, no, no, yeah, don't do it close. So I noticed there is that there, okay. See, I'm not going to say anything because I already okay. know. A C uh, in the ones place and a C in the tens place, right? So I'm going to write down, okay, so we have a C, so these two are the same, and then we have these two are hmm. the same, and then we have those two are the same. And so whatever these two things are, like, yeah, I think the only uh, double digit that I just add one just add one single digit. It could be three 
digit, then it has to be over 90. It's in between 90. So this, okay, so Yuyun said, so she's saying, I'm gonna go down here to something that must be true. So she's saying that we are, because there's a single digit and a double digit that equals a three digit, that the double digit must be over 90. Now that's if it's a it's a double if it's a single digit that must be over ninety, <clears throat> and these two digits are the same. Mm -hmm. Then this really limits what this can be. Yeah. Well, even the sing double digit number is over ninety plus a single digit, and a is very obvious. Yes. So, so you're saying, all right, so let's do something that we know for sure, all right? So we, we say that C plus, based on what we know, these being the same in double digit to single digit, and we're only adding a single digit to this, this A must be one. So here's what we've got, A, T, so, so this is what we, we know for sure, this must be one. Does that make, are we okay with that? I you can't am. get higher, you can't get 200. Right. Right, like that's not gonna happen. So I'll the A must be digits. one. And double digits. And then the other two must be double digits. Well, what is the highest that, okay, if we know that C has gotta be 90, mm -hmm. then we know that this, this is gonna be 91, right? right? Got to yep. be 91, then we know what C is. Yep. So we know it's 9 plus 91. And what does this equal then? Less easy. <laughs> All right. Is that what you thought it was? That's what I put together. Like, yeah, I put it together fast. Okay. Me, not so much. Not as quick. I <laughs> didn't got it. No, I had to tell yeah. her what it was. No, I had, I started. Yeah, you, I knew the C's were nines, but I needed a second to finish the rest. <clears throat> okay. One. It's fun though. All right. B, oh wait. M E. I like writing it down. Plus M E. I'm going to put this here. Ooh, that's easy. Well, it's not easy because <laughs> there's many things it could be. Well, first <laughs> notice first. Is no, that, no, there is it. I think I already. I think I know what it is, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll have to figure this out. Well, first you can too. you notice, and then it helps you. Yeah, but I already noticed. Okay, so we we noticed that there's something I noticed that whatever. B E is it's divisible by two. By two? Yes. How do you even number? Where do you get the divisible by two? Because well, there's two of that. These because two are the same. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So I notice, so I also notice that M E is half of B. E E. Ah. That's right. But I already know what it is. If it is if it is half. Yes. Oh. I think I know what it is too. This is this one is no. easy to me. Maybe. I'm not gonna be that confident. I am. Do it. Do well it. these two now think about this. It has to be something. These two numbers are the same. Yes. Yes. Right. So the E E are the E E's are the same. If I think what it is, then I can f I feel. Okay. E E. Okay. There's this. No. The oh, solution has uh, solution the tens 
and ones are the same number. So this is going to severely limit what the possible solution could be. Right. And Fairly. E, <laughs> if e is the, the single digit that adds up twice of itself, the last digit is it stays the same. It's still, still is. So yeah. that is, there's only one solution for that. Right. Because it stays the same. So who wants to tell me what it is? Zero. 50. 50. Aiden had it too. 50. I actually had that too. All right. Yeah. What's 50 plus 50? All right. 100. These are fun okay. mental exercises. Now, yeah. listen, we are doing the easy ones. <laughs> oh, I bet. What's <laughs> <laughs> baby? <laughs> Um, this, this, we're, we're doing these because what I want, because the, the, these are the easy ones. What I want us yeah. to get used to, I, I have to do this because I know I, I love you, Ben, but I have to slow Ben down. And I yeah. have to do the notice and wonder part and tell me the things you notice so that you can, because you have to, here's that's one of the did. things that we're learning to do is to yeah, take the tools that you learned this time and be able to apply it to the next thing that you do. So if you don't slow down your thinking, so this is what happens, especially if you do math in some of the ways that you've been doing it, is you have this intuition, and then you spit out the number, but you can't figure out how you got there. So you can't apply what you learned to the next problem. So I wanna keep doing this so that we can say, well, if these things are true, then this must be true. And to keep using that same if then sort of thing so that we can, but when they get harder, you're gonna need to count on the if then. A good way to practice the if, if then is um, a, there's a coding program called Scratch and it's like drop and ra it's drag and drop. And, there's, and if you ever want to do like any actions, if then something else, yes. something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like another language almost. It is another. It's a. It's like a beginner's language. Yeah. It's about the only language I'm. You good do scratch at. then? Um. Yes. Yeah. It's fun. However, I'm. I suck at creating video games on it. It's like I've never done it very well. Isn't there a bunch of free scratch resources online? There's. I don't want to get off topic, but. I, I was waiting. Was, but like, I'm just going to scratch and mess around because I do know how to use scratch a little bit. That's All right. So this is this is kind of like our other one, but this is a little bit more interesting. We oh, know half of something else. So we know that HH is half of OOT. You know, the first two digits are the same of the so LU solution it are the same. We have uh, two, 2D, that's digit, plus 2D equals 3D. So we have a two digit plus a two digit equals a three digit all 2D, two digit numbers have the same, have only one digit. What I mean is they're, they're all the same. All four digits are the same. So I could probably find a different way to say that. But we got H, 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 H. They're all the same. So obviously the O, we know the O because the largest of two digits adds up no matter how large it is and we know that O must be that certain number. It has to be one. Because you can't, so, so you're saying that you can't, because you can't get Nine and nine is eighteen. You so, you, but but you can't get higher than one in the two. If you add these two together, 
you cannot add it to 200 over above 200 to even 200 you cannot so right it has to be, you have to be yeah it has to be higher than four right no uh, oh well, well here, here's what she's saying. Okay, so here's what she's saying. Okay, let me go down here. So we know this. I'm going to go down here. We know that I'm not going to write because I, it's, it's, I can't get it lined up. Plus H, H. But she's saying that the highest that this can be, this, when you add it together, it can't be more than one. Right, because you're adding nine and nine. So this, if you add nine and nine here, you're going to get eighteen, right? And that's going to be a one over here. Right, right. So these, so the O O must be ones. It can't be two because these are two digit uh, numbers. Nice you, Yen. I understand uh -huh. that now. <laughs> well, Frankie so Peter. now we have one so, one T. So this right. is this is this is where we are now. See, and I was thinking that the H's have to be higher than four because otherwise you're getting only two digit answer versus three. Yeah, right? so so that's a really good observation. So she's saying the H's must be more than, so H's must be greater than four. Because you have 40, if you did 44 and 44, you would have um, 88. Right. So the H's must be greater than four. You see that? You don't know where it is. Oh. Okay, now Aiden shared something. Yeah, I can't see it. Um. He must be privately to you. No, no. We have hundreds digit that cannot be any larger than one. Aiden's, Aiden's like, Aiden gave me his complete reasoning. He's done a very good job. And then he says, let's move to the harder ones, please. <laughs> Aiden, you have to slow down. You've done something like this before. So you just to slow down. Here's the deal, Aiden, while you're there, while you've already solved this and you're waiting for everyone else to come along, can you please come up with one that we can do over the last five minutes? So you, because it's harder to come up with one than it is to solve them. Nice plan. Oof. What did he say? He probably already has one that he can give to us. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, dear. True. He goes, okay, true, very true. It's harder to come up with one. And this number is divisible by 22. Oh, really? Yes, because there are 20 H plus 2 H. So 22 H equals 110. So H, 20 figure that. H. So the first 10 actually is 10 H. H is a single digit. So you have 10 H plus one H. And you double that, you get 22 H. Okay, so do you see what she's saying? Who, who, no. who understands what she's saying? All right, so she's saying right here, if we were just going to assume that these are, that, that, not we're not just going to assume, we know that this is a tens place, right the ones place mm -hmm. so she says so we have 10 times h plus 2 times h and we're going to we have two of them so we're going to need to double that get uh, it it's 10 times h one times of h where are you getting oh the sorry thank you oh. yuyen had a meltdown. Because I was skipping. One H, 10 times H plus one times H. Because the, the one times H, you're talking about the, the one and the H in the one spot. Yeah. Yes. So actually it's 11 H. So we have 11, so you have 11 H. So we could do that. We can do this. So we get 11. 10 times H and one times H. 
So it's 11, if we can add these together, that's 11H, right? Hold on, hold on, wait, I didn't, I see that you have two, two H's in the 10 and two H's in the one. No, 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 we're gonna just do one of the H's. We're gonna just do one H. We're gonna just, this, we have one H here, so let's do, we're gonna just look at this one. And right. 10. I see that. Times H plus one times H. Right. And and we have two of them, right? Well, hold on. 10H times 1H. Plus 1H. Plus 1H. It's a 11H. Oh, okay. I was thinking times in the middle. That's why. Okay. Okay. So we have 2 times 11H. So then it's 22H total. Does that make sense? Okay. Do you, do, do you understand how we got the 22H? I do, but I don't see how it relates. Maybe I'm thinking of the answer that I came up with and it doesn't make sense to me. Maybe that's why. Because I'm thinking I already know what the H's mean and I don't see how 22 relates to that, but maybe there's some way. Maybe we... So T has to be... Uh even number or a zero. zero. And I, I think it's a zero. Then that's five times of 22. Why, Yu Yin, why looking at when you see 22 H, how, how from that do you say, well, so T then has to be a zero or a... Because if it's an even number, the product of even number has to be even or a zero. Okay, okay. Did I you see. just say T has to be zero? So, right, so the only option, so look, let's look what our options are. So we have either 110, 112, 114, right, it gets with me? 116 or 118. So, you can backwards from this and do half of 112. It can't be that though. That'll be 56. Yeah, Is can't that going that. to work? No. Half of 114. No. It, ha it has to be the two digits are the same, so 56 won't work. You could no. find the odds. This isn't going to work. Those are going to work. If There's only that, that top one. Ding ding, yeah. you guys. Are I guess we'll have to 110. Yay! But I don't see where the 22 comes in with 55. Like, I don't understand that. But the, I guess it's just another five. way of seeing it. 22 times 5. I get the 22 times 5, but I did not even look at it that way. Because could you come up with 55 by looking at it from oh. the 22? It would have to be a multiple of 11 because 11 times 7 yes. is the only way you get almost two digits the same. Why, why, why would you choose 5? Like, what's the logic in the thinking that you say, your kids got 22? So, so, you, you you only, so you only have, you only have 55. 66, 77, 88, and 99. So you only have that a four now five number to work out. If you don't see that a 22, but if you see 22, hmm. and then then it'll be easier. But it's it's about the same. Yeah, I don't know how you get to 55. From 22 like how do you come to the conclusion that it's oh oh 55 from 22 <laughs> okay because uh, two even number add up together you can see this from different uh, aspects two even numbers uh, add, add up together it has to be an even number right also the two actually there is a, a I think that also in continuous the 11 also told you that two same double two same number double digit when they add up and they are divisible by 11 so, so then you would just keep going 
So you, I mean, you can you can prove this from different app perspective yeah. aspect. And also, just now I use five, five. Okay, use. Oh five. wait, I think I understand. Well, I think I understand because you did. You use age. There's fifty age there. You 55. did. 20. Oh, 25, 22 age there. Yeah, you did it by times five. Yes. So basically, I'm trying to. So uh, that remind you know, Gatania will say not an H H. He would say say H ten H. Right. I think I know where this is going, but I don't. I think I understand this, but I. I think I. I think I understand. So twenty two times five versus 22. eleven ten times. It's it's just right double, or it's double Hold on. Yeah, right. That's, that's what I did. I. Well, I, I you're doing, doing 22 times 5 versus 11 10 times. Ten, oh. or, right. Or 55 twice. But you could just do that and you'll get 110. Well, 11 times 10 is 110, but you instead you did it from 22 and you only have to multiply that by half and, or by 5, which is half. I get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't. I can't even believe this. Okay. Okay, so, so, uh, okay, here's, here's, I'm going to try and condense a little bit for you, um, <laughs> to that, what, what Yuyin said, and here's a, I love you, Yuyin, but Yuyin's going to pull in 52 things from how, she sees <laughs> math very differently than the rest of us do, so, I'm going to just back it back to where it was easier, I could see where Yuyin was going. All right. I see it now, but I'm All right. So if we look at 11H, we know that these two first two numbers are the same, right? So and we know this has to be even, right? right. We know this is half of this and yeah. all these numbers are the same. All right. So we have here, she said it's 22H. She's it, there's more information there than you really needed. All we had to do is this. This was all we have to do. So we know that this is 11 H. There's 10 H's plus another H. We've got 11 H is yes. this first thing, right? Yes. Yes. And it's going to have to be whatever it's going to have to be multiplied has to equal, this has to be the same. Mm -hmm. So you see that this must be, because it's 11 H, it's going to have to be what you know is 55, 66. Already 66, that's not going to work. We mm -hmm. know 77 is not going to work. So this limits you, and you could do 22 times 5, or 5 times 11, mm -hmm. or 22. Or 10 times 11. 22, yeah, 22 times 5, or 5 times 11. doesn't matter either way, because you can do both of them or one of them. Either way, it doesn't matter. So you could say 11H times 10, 2, versus... Mr. Murray. Are you with me now? Do you see it, Jeanette? Oh, oh, and when we go to 22H, you're just doubling it and then yeah. say 22H, and it has to get up to whatever this is, but you know you're limited. You're limited because 66 double doesn't work. Um, and you can't, it, anything, be, it has to be in the 110s. So it's not going to be bigger than 66. We know it must be greater than four. So this must be greater than four and it's six is too big. Yeah, my mind is blown that she pulled that out of there. Like, Okay, I, just one time we were doing these things and I had, I think I showed this to you guys. It was some number, can't remember what it was. And I had a kid and the kid tells me he sees nines. Oh, Yuyin yeah. does it, show it to Yuyin, and yeah. Yuyin says sevens. I see yeah. sevens. I was like, what? I, I get the ninth thing. I don't get this. So Yuyin explains a seven, and I was like, of course. I knew Yuyin would do this. <laughs> I bring it out, and I'm hoping that Yuyin will, like, like pull this together, yeah. why this would matter, and sure enough, she did. Well, I see it now, but, like, wrapping my mind around it, it's like, wow. I did not – I – did not even see that there. Yeah. All right. Aiden, do you have a problem for us? He says he does, but, uh, and I'm asking him to tell me it, but he isn't. 
Like, well, because he wants points. you to figure it out with the rest of us. All right, okay. so put it in the chat or type it on the screen. I haven't blocked anybody, so just type it on the screen. He's typing. typing. Oh, hold on. So we actually are doing a logic camp today, right? Actually, yes. I, 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 booked the, I purchased the book and the book has arrived and it's been in the garage for several days. I want to sit, keep it there before the possible. Yeah, don't, actually, you don't need to go through it. You actually, if we're going to go through it, I'm not looking ahead. I'm just going to show up. I'm oh. looking at the very beginning, but I'm not looking at the problems. I'm doing it as we do it so that we can all do it together. Okay. So, so we're not going to do the uh, geometry together now. We're going to do the... Uh... Yes, we're just going to do camp logic. Okay. Okay. So we're, we have a few more of these as they get progressively harder. Aiden, are you there? He's typing still, he said. Oh, he's typing. Okay. He That's right. I can't see him type. I forget these things. Yeah. I, I can't see him type. He's been typing. So it'll be a hard one. Oh, I have a bunch of hard ones. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do this easy one first, the simple one first. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait, I, I'm going to cut to the end of the class. So next week, here's your deal. Everybody needs to come up with one even if it's super easy because the process of coming up with one these are hard to do they are they're not easy to do because you have to i mean you have to think about what would be involved you have to give enough there has to be enough clues in the problem to have everybody be able to solve it so it's like the guess my train only harder Aiden's hand is raised, so I don't exactly know what that means. His hand is raised? Yes. I see nothing in the chat. No, his hand is raised, like in the participant section. I don't, I don't see it. Oh, I do, but I do. It might just be by accident. So I have a question. Are we bringing these questions with us next week? Or do you want us to do them in the week and then post them? No, bring them in the week, do them during the week, and we will solve them together next oh, week. Yeah. Um, next week, we're going to move on to some harder ones. Aiden, if your hand is raised, you're going to just have to send me a personal thing in the chat because I can't, I can't click on you. Your hand was raised before, but now I don't see it. So you'll have to like... So is this like a one-time thing for us or should? No, we do this. We're going to do this every week until the camp logic is done. And my guess is 12, 13 weeks we'll be doing this. Did I get the book then? You don't need it. You oh, don't okay. have to have it. Okay. If you want it, after, you do, after we do the class, if you want it and you want to read through it, but I don't want the kids to have it ahead of time. So I don't want them to go and think. Oh, think right. I want, to th I want to think through it together. Yeah, yeah. We re we read first and make sure we are smarter than they are. <laughs> <laughs> Try at least be a 